Brazil is developing a central bank digital currency or CBDC. And Brazil's central bank has been one of the few central banks that are taking the lead to research the applications of distributed ledgers, tokenization, decentralized finance, or DeFi. And as you mentioned, perhaps as a result of the head of the central bank, Roberto Neto Campos' enthusiasm for blockchain, crypto, DeFi, and theoretical use cases, the central bank appears to be positive and optimistic towards all these things versus other central banks that are either taking a wait and see approach to see what other central banks will do or propose an outright ban of cryptocurrencies. Brazil has gone as far as even organizing a competition called the Digital Real Competition to invite companies to contribute solutions as part of the country's efforts to develop a CBDC. Claudia, what is the Digital Real Competition and what are some of the goals and objectives? Okay, let me just add an information here. For us who follow the Brazilian central bank and the financial system so for so many years, I started working as a journalist in the 90s. So um, I have, you know, followed this, this, you know, this technology implementation in, in the Brazilian financial system. Um, I had a bit the idea, I, I had a bit of the impression that, you know, maybe we are missing the pace a bit. We, I had a bit of this impression a few years ago, but then comes Roberto Campos Neto and says, uh -uh, we're going to have this, you know, this instant payment system. And I'm talking about tokenization, blah, blah, blah. And I said, wow, we're back. To, <laughs> we're back to the track. Um, this is, this I think is the very Brazilian central bank. Okay. Um, in terms of technology. Um, okay, so what is the, uh, and then we have this, uh, it's a lift challenge, you know, the Brazilian Real, digital Real challenge. The central bank has been studying blockchain, I think, at least since 2017. Okay, so they, they understand that. And then Came this movement of the CBDCs and they invented, they created this challenge and sent to financial institutions and said, okay, we want projects to test the Brazilian digital health. Come with your projects, your ideas. And then we have nine groups. Among them, we have banks, most, you know, the largest Brazilian banks. We have like uh, exchanges, crypto exchange, like Mercado Bitcoin. We have Aave. You know, a protocol, crypto protocol. We have Consensus, we have Visa, we have Microsoft. So we have these big companies working in pools. So they have startups with them. You know, they have the Brazilian companies with them. They have um, the uh, like um, academia with them, right? Okay, so we have these nine projects. And the idea is that they have like 45 people companies actually presenting projects, they chose these nine and each of them is going to test the Brazilian uh, CBDC in a way. So we have like DV, DVD, DV, delivery versus delivery, delivery versus payment, um, all sorts of you like offline payments, you know. So we ha you have all these testers. They started, they're starting this test now they have started they started last week i think yeah i think it was last week and until the end of the year and they they will publish the results and then next year there's going to be another round and then we'll have some pilots and the idea is that the cbdc at least its first features will be ready in 2025 and one of the things that brazilian central bank has already said is that well, many things they have said, but they said, okay, we want DeFi to be possible with CBDC. That's something that I have not heard any central bank say so clearly. That's different. And they said that um, Brazilian banks, they can issue the Real Digital, the CBDC, based on the deposits they have, right? So... 
well, obviously there's some criticism. People say, oh, this is centralized, it's a central bank, it's not a crypto, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not a crypto, it's not Bitcoin. There's nothing to do with that. But I always say, don't be naive. This the, It's called central bank. Don't expect them to behave as Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> this is central and it's a bank, okay? Uh, but I think it's it's it, it looks like a project that can change a lot of things. When we talk about offline payments, you have to remember that this is such a huge country, and there are some places that there's no internet. You have people living in very very distant places, and uh, so offline payments is it would be a huge change for them, huge. It's not going to substitute the the paper, you know, the notes, not the coin, not even the coin, the metal coins. But I think it's going to change the way the products that we have in the financial system. And again, we come back to the competition. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with us. We also produce a weekly newspaper packed with the latest Web3 news from emerging markets. The link to get access is in the description below. And if you really like the video, share it with your friends and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for supporting the channel.